Well, good morning. Today is Sunday, December the 6th. It's a joy to be coming to you on my favorite day of the week. I'm looking forward to preaching uh, from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, this morning, and uh, continuing my series on the Lord's Prayer. Now, today's devotional I've titled, Father Abraham, one of the most famous men of all time, obviously the the great patriarch of the Old Testament and that of the Jewish people and also claimed by the Muslim or Arab people. Now our scripture reading is Romans chapter 4, 5, 6, and 7. It is a long one. I'll try to keep the devotional this morning brief. Now today's scripture reading you're going to find as you read is infused with some of the great doctrines of our faith. In Romans 4, for example, which will be the limit of my devotional today, we find the following doctrines. Now think about this. Salvation, justification, faith, grace, redemption, righteousness, circumcision, uncircumcision, the law, death, resurrection, all of those great doctrines are part of one chapter in Romans chapter 4. Now I encourage you, Don't allow the theological terms to discourage you from digging deeper into the scriptures. Don't let that happen. Begin your study today, even if it takes a lifetime, and you will be the richer for it. Now, the focus today is Romans chapter 4. And I've given the theme of overall of this chapter, we are saved and justified by faith alone. Now, here's a question. Did you know when it comes to faith that Abraham, the great patriarch of the Old Testament, is your and my spiritual father according to Romans chapter 4 and verse 1? Now, the majority of my readers are familiar with Abraham, his covenant with God, Genesis 12, and the command for him to offer Isaac, Genesis 22, whom God promised him in his old age. Now, we know that the Bible tells us that Abraham obeyed God. However, it was his faith that God could raise Isaac from the dead that God rewarded. And we read in uh, Romans 4, 2, and 3 that God counted it unto him for righteousness. Now, what is righteousness? Righteousness is a right standing with God. Now, God honored Abraham's faith and commanded him to circumcise his son Isaac as a sign of God's covenant with both him and his lineage, Romans 4, 9 through 12. Now, we know in the Bible, in Genesis, that Abraham obeyed God and circumcised his son as an outward testimony of his faith in God's promises. Now, allow me to just make a point here. We know that the Bible teaches us that, the, that we are not saved by, by works, but we're saved by faith. You see, our works, those good things that we do, are a proof or a test of our faith. Faith comes before works. Now, allow me to continue. My kinship and your kinship as a believer with Abraham is a spiritual kinship. It's not founded upon the physical right of circumcision, but like Abraham, on his faith in God's word and his promises. In other words, a sinner is saved from the curse of sin and death, not by his works, but by his faith in God. If you are a believer, Abraham is your, and I'm going to quote, father in the faith, whether you are physically circumcised or not. Now, the basis of your spiritual kinship with Abraham, then, is your faith in God's promises. Now, how important is faith? According to Romans 4, 15 through 22, it is absolutely essential. Because Abraham believed God and had faith in his promises, Abraham obeyed God's command, Genesis 12, verse 4. God promised Abraham a son. However, he was old, and his wife Sarah was well past her childbearing years. Nevertheless, God promised a childless man, Abraham, whose wife Sarah was physically incapable of bearing a child, that he would be the father of many nations, Romans 4, verse 17. We read that Abraham hoped, and he believed God. He was strong in faith, and he believed what God had promised. He, God, was able to 
perform. In other words, Abraham had faith that God would and could keep his promises. How did God respond to God's uh, to Abraham's faith? He imputed or he credited to him righteousness, meaning he credited and honored Abraham for his faith and declared him righteous and justified in his sight. Now, what does this mean to us? Abraham had faith in God's covenant promises, and his faith moved the Lord to accept and declare him righteous. Now listen, it is that same faith, believing God's word, that moves the sinner to believe Jesus Christ died for his sins and was raised from the dead. Romans 4, 23 through 25. You and I, if you are a believer, we are saved not by good works or keeping the law, but by faith that God will put, that is impute, the righteousness of Jesus Christ to our account and mark the debt of my sin and your sin paid in full. Romans 5, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God, not through my works, not through my good intentions, not through my good motives. I have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. It is through Christ, Romans 5 verse 2, that we have access by faith, believing into God's grace wherein we stand. And in this we rejoice in hope of the glory of the Lord. Dear friend, won't you turn today from your sinful pride and works? and accept Jesus Christ's death for your sins, believing God raised him from the dead. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Turn to the Lord today and trust him by faith and believe he died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead. God bless you. Have a great day. I hope to come back with a short video a little bit later to introduce today's Sunday morning services. God bless you. The Lord be with you. Bye-bye.